it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping in, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into this video because I have so, this package here is from Gabriella Plants. I have ordered from them before, but I think it was on New Year's Day they put out a restock and they had one of my wish list plants on there that I've been waiting to purchase for a long time. So it's 20 bucks. So I had to get it. And I am very excited. I've been waiting to find this plant in stores because I think this spring you're going to be able to find it everywhere, but I couldn't wait. So as always, who treated your package? Selected and treated by Bruce and packed and shipped by Gabby. Just smile, your plants are home. I love it. Invoice. Can I even guess what I got? If you saw their restock on the first, you might know. Especially since I said 20 bucks. I'm going to save that one for last. So the first one I'm going to show you is a genus or type of plant that I don't have in my home yet. I've had it in my home once, but it instantly died. So I've been apprehensive. Ooh, I got dirt everywhere. I've been apprehensive to buy another one. But I figured I've been growing. I mean, I've been doing pretty well with my plant endeavor. So I'm going to give it a shot. And... I loved the name of this plant. The name of this plant speaks to me on all kinds of levels. So I thought, well, why not? So here we go. What is the easiest and, ooh. Okay. It's all kind of coming out there, but we'll fix it. Take this recover pan. Bear with me. Some plants are easy to unpackage, and some are not. But I have a feeling I am gonna like this. Ooh, soil. <sighs> Guys, this is the begonia, begonia firewoman. I love the name, I had to get it. And when I buy from places online, I typically at least like to buy two plants to kind of make it worth my while for shipping. Now the leaves are kind of all squished down because of shipping, but that ain't no big thing. They will uh, settle down, you know, once they sit for a while. But look how pretty that is. I do not have good luck with begonias, but I've had a couple of begonia rex varieties and they have just died on me so this is stunning oh birdie so begonia firewoman from gabriella plants wow this is really full and the stems are hairy i wonder if you can you see that does it pick up this is gorgeous I'll let them settle for a while, the leaves, and maybe I'll try and take some footage and put it at the end. So hopefully they will settle down a little bit. And the second plant. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This one's like already coming out. Aww. I'm going to have to vacuum in here when I'm done. Ooh. Can you hear the dirt falling out? My Raphidopera tetrasperma. I believe this is the tissue culture one though. So the leaves are a little more narrow. I have been wanting this plant for so long. 
All right, we got a couple leaves with fenestrations, only two, but that's okay. It looks like there's a third leaf about to come out right there that will probably be fenestrated considering those two are. Oh, we have a casualty. But I have wait been waiting for a very long time to find this plant. And I feel like this coming spring, summer, you're probably going to be able to find these in Home Depot. I just have a feeling. Maybe I'm wrong, but I saw it for 20 bucks, and I know Gabriella Plants does a good job, so I sent it, and I did it. So, one wish list plant down. I'm going to have to do some major cleaning, though. Oh, man. But the plants look great. And hopefully I have good luck with my first, well, it's not my first begonia, but the other begonias I got, like I said, they were the Rex variety. Got them at Walmart, maybe Home Depot. I can't remember. I might have had two. And I had them for maybe two to three weeks. And then they pick the bucket. Now, I'm really excited for this one. My number one wish list plant is in here. And this is my first ever order from Steve's Leaves. Oh my gosh, am I showing my address? I probably am. Don't come find me. You don't want to. My house is a mess. I'm a grouch. Snippity snip over there. Steve's leaves packing list for my order and what to do when your order arrives. Okay. Packing material. I'm sitting like a kid right now, like when your legs are tucked back and it's probably really bad for your knees. Not the most comfortable. Interesting. I got another begonia. This is begonia old blue. And I wonder if they call it that because it's got these like little whiskers on the leaves. Can you see them? Hold on. And I don't know why, but it reminds me of an old man's ear hair. See? Is that weird? <laughs> I don't know. It's the cutest thing though. I love him. My boy Blue. He's hairy. He's a hairy boy. Oh my goodness. I didn't know he'd be hairy. That did not show in the pictures. I'm shaking. Sorry. I just got home from work and I was very excited. Can you see that hair? Weird. But that's what it reminds me of. You see like an old man with gray hair and he's got all the you know, he needs the ear trimmers. That's what it reminds me of, but it's super cute. I like the old man hair. So this is Begonia Old Blue. I love it. And there's red on back of the leaves. There's red on my other Begonia as well. Love it. I love any plant that has red on the underside of their leaves. I don't know. There's something about it. The contrast. I don't know. Ooh. Now, I don't know much about begonia, so if anyone wants to share any tips, please maybe DM me on Instagram or whatever. Because, ooh, heat pack, and it's so warm. Side note, I ordered from Gabriella's Plants on the 1st and got them today, January 10th. And I ordered from Steve's Leaves on the 30th of December and got them today on January 10th. So, not bad at all. And when they told me my plant shipped, they both shipped on the same day, and they both arrived on the same day. So, two-day priority shipping, no problems. 
So this is the one I'm most excited for. This has been on my wish list for a while and I saw it on Josh's Frogs for $13.99 and it said they had 16 left in stock. Went to buy it, nothing was there. There was like something wrong, it wouldn't let me order it. So I was super bummed. But Steve's Leaves had it and when I saw it, I just had to get it. And this is the Monstera Sultipicana. I should have got two. Look at that. This reminds me of like a mix between a Cebu Blue and a Monstera Peru. Like some type of hybrid or something. Look. I know exactly where I'm putting this. I am putting this in my room. My bedroom with my macrame. Like my wicker hanger. I'm very excited and it's already trailing. This is a pretty full size. I think I paid $22.99 or $22.99. Um, it doesn't say. But yeah. The Monstera Silted Pecana. I love it. Thank you, Gabriella Plants, and thank you, Steve's Leaves. I got my two wish list plants and some begonias. I really pray to goodness I don't kill, but they're beautiful and they're fuzzy. All right. Well, I wanted to keep this short and sweet. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. And all I have to say is my first time ordering from Steve's Leaves. I am happy they packaged this very well. I didn't have to order a heat pack separately. They just included it. So I think that is awesome. And I'm very pleased. So I give them the two thumbs up. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.